COVID-19 questions this morning. So let's check back in with Dr. Frank Lavecchio. All right, doctor, we've been asking viewers how they feel about high school sports not being canceled. Um, for, let's go ahead and ask you first, what do you think about this idea? I think what they're doing where they check the athletes before, check, you know, before games, show a card, wear masks if they can. I think that's very important. Everybody knows they have great childhood memories. Uh, you know, high school athletics are very, very important. Uh, there's a small risk, but it's not so much to the kids. It's that the kids are going to bring it home to the parents. So that's kind of a little individual there, but it seems that it's very, very low risk for the kids that are competing, especially with a negative test. Well, that's good news right there. So additional precautions uh, for those who are playing when they're around family before and after competition. All right, so our first question from viewers this morning comes from Sarah in Goodyear. She wants to know, how quickly can someone develop antibodies after getting the vaccine? Well, after the second shot, you're where you want to be. You're about 95%, you know, certainly by three weeks in most people. Uh, after the first shot, you know, the range is between 50 and 88% or so. So that's why we encourage getting the second shot. But after the second shot, you will be where you want to be. So you're in great shape after about two to three weeks after the second shot. So our second viewer question this half hour is, if you had COVID, do you still get the vaccine? And how far out after that COVID diagnosis? The recommendation now is to get it. So the short answer is yes, you absolutely should get it. The longer answer is you probably got a three month window where you're safe. So if somebody else wanted to go in front of me or I wanted to wait three months because I had COVID-19, most people still have antibodies three months out. Some people have even nine months out, but three months is the time where, you know, some people diminish. So you're probably safe. The recommendation for, that I say to people is get it. All right, doctor, and our third question is relevant to a lot of folks who we know uh, split their time here in Arizona this time of year. As a snowbird, can I get a first vaccine in one state and a second same vaccine in another state? You know, that's a great question. And if you get a vaccine, you know, in Arizona, can you go back to the Midwest and get your second vaccine? Uh, most likely, yes. I don't know the exact answer to that. I know that when you do get your vaccine, they kind of register for the second vaccine and you got to try to make that appointment. And in the studies, they wanted you to get that second vaccine. Sometimes it was delay, but they recommended it to get it within seven days of that. So in other words, you were allowed a seven day delay in the second vaccine in the studies. So whatever you do, take a photocopy of it, put it in your phone, send it to a loved one. I think you're better off if you get the second shot at a CVS or a Walgreens. I think they may keep better records on hand than something that we do. When we keep records for you after you get the vaccine, all we're really doing is taking your date of birth and your name, no other demographics. So it might be tough to find you, mm -hmm. and we don't know if all those computers are linked together, but I think the big corporations will be linked together. Well, that's good advice there. I think applies obviously to a lot of people who enjoy our state. Dr. Lavecchio, thank you so much. He's staying with us throughout the morning. So continue to send in your questions to 602-444-1212. Ryan.